Hi, it's April again, and today I want to do a Scrapbook 101 video on a page uh, with my daughter's pictures when she was a baby. I'm going to call it Faces of Emily, and it's no cricket required. So I'm going to show you a scrapbook that doesn't require that you have a cricket to cut out any of the pieces that I'm going to use. Here we go. So here are the pictures that I'm going to use. This is Emily when she was a baby. Some more. This is her binky picture where she's, we called it a binky. She's nice and happy. And then here's the one where she's not so much so happy. So I'm going to use those three pictures. And found this paper. I really like the color of it. It's a pretty pink for a girl and then I've got some coordinating flower stickers to go with it and whereas I would normally cut out some uh, letters with my Cricut I've got these sticker letters I'm gonna use them to say faces of Emily I've got this green strip that's the border punch strips the brights that have the adhesive on the back and I've got some other solid colors that I'm going to use to coordinate the page and as is typical of my videos I like to crop the picture get rid of the white and make sure that what is most important to me is what your eye will focus on in the video. Oh, she was so sweet. She'll be, for she is just turned 15, so. Used to be so cute and sweet. Alright, now I'm going to trim this page. I think I want to cut it um, I'm thinking four inches. decide if I like it better on the pink or the blue. I'm kind of thinking I like the blue best so far. Then I'm going to have this kind of here. Or the light blue. I'll have to decide. Okay, I decided that I liked the blue background the best. And I like this strip, but I think it's a little bit too stark. So what I want to do, set this to the side. I have these scalloped edges from Creative Memories. Thinking to use a curvier one. So I'm gonna line it up. Having a little trouble here. <coughs> and then I just take this curve. And then I have scalloped edges. Like that. Okay, so I've taken this or this tape runner. It's memory tape runner permanent bond. I'm trying out different tape runners to see which ones I like best. And then I'm going to take the adhesive off of this and tack it down like that. Okay, so I have
my faces of, and then I need to do Emily. Of Emily. Now for the embellishments. Okay, these are my K and Company flowers. And by the way, if you go out to Hobby Lobby's website this week, there's a 40% coupon off of any re one regularly priced item. And I'm going to put a flower in each of the little curves. So I'll probably alternate between a bigger flower and a smaller flower. I might even make every other flower, if I have enough, the same one. I don't think I really have enough. And these are cool because they're kind of 3D. They kind of pop up. I like the purple. It's pretty and sparkly. I'm all about the stickers and the papers. They're fun. And you want the memories that you're capturing on your page to be fun. Next, we journal. Okay, I'm trying to decide what I want to put on each picture. And I know on this one, I want to put sleepy face. And this one should be crying face. We'll make this one content face because she's not really happy, but she does look like she's content, and that's what binkies are for. So here is the page of Emily. So it says faces of Emily. And I didn't use the cricket at all. Have a good day.